Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Explore Japan. I am in front of Higashi Kogane Station. Yes, there's a Starbucks right there. What a beautiful looking station this really is. It's a small little station. We are on the Chuo Line, west of Shinjuku. And we are heading over to the Edo Tokyo Open Air Museum. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining. And uh, hopefully we'll get a bunch of people coming in. Uh, hi, Nancy on and Jan. I think I saw Jason here earlier, Desert Fox 95. Good afternoon. It took me about an hour to get out here uh, from where I live. And uh, we're going to show you basically, if you do come to Tokyo, how to visit the open air uh, museum. It is a spectacular place. Hey, G6, Sandra M. Um, I've been here once before. Hopefully it's open. I, I know it's open, but hopefully we can get in and uh, show you stuff. Hey, Cher, long time. Um, well, nobody's around me, so I don't need the mask on right now. Um, but uh, yeah, we are on the south side of uh, Higashi Kogane Station. You can go to uh, Musashi Kogane also. Hey, Jake Davis, good morning. How are you, brother? Um, and yeah, I'm gonna take a walk up and show you guys exactly how to get here. Hey, bye you. Oh, it's a bee. Never mind. I don't want to be doing that. Jason M. Fang, good morning. And uh, yeah, let's go. I'm going to not waste any time here because it is a bit of a, a walk. There is a moss burger I found just right over there. Meh. Nah. But uh, I'm going to walk, actually walk through the station area here. Um, Ginza Corner, little bakery there. They do have Seiju Ishi, which is that place right over there. They do have a bunch of shopping actually at this station, which uh, makes it pretty good for a better future. How are you, YB, Little Mermaid? Little Mermaid is one of the actual bakeries that I do like. And uh, yeah, you just walk, basically walking through. Hey Relic, how are you? Thank you all for being here, truly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna head over to the north side now. Um, I hope uh, 478 wasn't going to try and meet me because I came to a different station. So, um, Yoshinoya, not too much, but not too bad for like a local kind of station here. You can see the Higashi Kogane Ekimai Police Box, which is a. Uh, I don't want to <laughs> no worries, Gretchen, if you're watching. I just saw your, uh, your message online. And basically, it's very easy to get to. You come out of the north entrance, you come around to this roundabout here, and we're gonna walk straight up for, I don't know how many blocks, but I can actually see right at the end of the road some forest up there, and that's where the park is. So we will uh, continue up. If you know Higashi Kogane for a better future, yes, it's changed a lot, actually. Uh, I was here one other time, just, uh, I was actually going to a business just behind here. This whole area has changed a lot, but that station looks really cool, you know, for a local uh, station. It is on the Chuo line, like I said. And uh, yeah. Hey, Night Riders gal, how are you? I'm walking with a, a bit of a limp, everybody, because I got my knee wrapped up. But uh, the show must go on, as I always say. I think I'm going to cross over because I don't want to walk in the sun the whole time. <coughs> that bike just scared the hell out of me. There's the station, a better uh, view of the station itself with the train coming in. I don't know, I just love train stations. I love trains. I guess I'm a geek that way. Tomods is down there, if you're familiar with Tomods. Hi, A1. If that, if I saw a one, oh, there she is. It's Nancy on's birthday, is it really? She started actually looking for work over there. I'm about to make the jump. Ah, oh, cool, Bayou. Well, Nancy, if it is your birthday, is it your birthday like right now because it's past 12 o'clock, then happy birthday to you. Hey, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, the beautiful Nancy on. Happy birthday to you happy birthday girl oh Luis R is here I mean it's not that freaking other fake name you guys pissed me off on that 
<coughs> Pizza Hut, oh wow. With the uh, delivery. Looks like they're still uh, renovating all this area here, which is pretty good. I do have the likes and dislikes turned off. I forgot to turn them on. We're at 15 likes now, so that's pretty good, thank you. And I couldn't turn it on with my cell phone, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> Sorry, Nancy. Just like you're trying to avoid me giving you your address too, right? Oh, there's Mindy. Oh, Mindy's mom. I didn't see you until right now. No wonder why you're ignoring me, brother. Oh my God, you're so needy, woman. The walk is relaxing until you get hit by this truck. Seriously, dude. Hi, Maria. How are you? And let me turn the camera on. Hi, Mindy's mom. Hi, Mindy's mom. Hi, Mindy's mom. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, you guys in your... I know the three of you were having a chuckle. Hey, Black Tengu. This morning with Luis R. I know because somebody gave it up as you guys were chuckling amongst yourselves. You're going to get the wrath of Drew. <laughs> Uh, love the community. Oh, look at this place. Jexer. No idea what it is, though. No idea. I guess we'll find out one day. Try to, oh, it's a, it's a fitness place because there's some girl walking in the window. All right, so, yeah, basically, we are just going to be uh, going up to the lights here. And, uh, oh, wow. This is a weird-looking building. I don't know why. I just think it looks weird looks kind of interesting too at the same time though I gotta see who that was there um, Nando hello how are you thank you for being here oh Fallon is here again that's just a weird looking building so yeah this is uh, basically the uh, the walking time to uh, get to the open air Edo Museum I hope that uh, Merry Christmas was the one that uh, I don't even know if she's here um, suggested this so she better get her ass in here because I'm doing this for her <clears throat> well I'm for everybody of course but she was the one that suggested it so I never did put the community poll up but uh, that's okay. Hey Clayton, how are you? Mission Creek, how are you? Thank you for being here. Arigato gozaimashita. So it doesn't seem too much of a walk. I've only been walking for what, five minutes? Looks like when it's all grown up. So I'm gonna keep quiet and just let you guys enjoy the, uh, the walk quietly. 30 seconds. Okay, I gotta break my silence. That's too bad. Please stay safe, Mission Creek. Really hope you guys will be okay there. I had to. You see something like that? Come on now. I think we got maybe another five minutes of walking before we actually get to the park area. I, uh... That's nice, Chris. You don't need to, uh... Yes, John is live right now. Look at this car. Guy goes right through. <laughs> he went right through the red light. Oh shit, and there's a plane up there. Really flying really low too. There was a light here. And he just went straight through it and almost hit this this girl. Looks like a high school here. That's actually a pretty crazy look in front of a high school. Huh. 
it is a nice area. It's quiet, you know. Um, it's quite relaxing so far. And then once we get up into the park area, wait till you see the park. If you guys didn't see this, I was here about a year and a half ago, a year ago. And I thought I'd come back because uh, Merry Christmas asked me to. Night Rider's girl is hangry. <laughs> I love that. I'm hangry. All these buildings are new. These houses are all pretty much new, probably in the last 20 years, 15 years. Don't see much of uh, anything that's really old. I'm gonna boil some potatoes and fire up the ribs. Oh, yum! Oh. Okay, it's a lot further walk than I thought, but I know it's not as far as uh, the other place the other day. Oh, had lasagna. Gretchen, are you in the chat, by the way? Just wondering. I did start early, so some people might not be here. How many people we got here? 47? 19 likes. Thank you so much. Oh, look at this. You always, you know, whenever you explore, you see some of the coolest looking things. I don't know what that is, but it looks like this is a guest house. Guest house. It just says guest house. Huh. One of the... Uh, I guess, oh, look at this. The little temple shrine thing right there. You can see that, look at this. People have put uh, jars of sake or one cups right there. Look at that. That's kind of interesting. Not the cleanest looking little shrine, but hey. Oh, why do they ride their bikes on the sidewalk? Resolution is amazing on your iPhone 8, dude. It's actually an iPhone XR. Same thing, it's an iPhone. But wait till uh, we get the GoPro uh, going live. We're gonna be streaming in 1080p instead of 720. It's gonna be awesome, people. Right, Mindy's mom? Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with uh, riding on the sidewalks. I really don't. Oh, they got a mini stop up here. Mini stop, the best convenience store ice cream in Japan, so they say. <coughs> yes, uh, I'm getting the GoPro 9, so you can stream at 1080p uh, live stream. It's gonna be awesome. Mini stopping. Hi, Loretta, how are you? Thank you for joining. Garbage truck. Mini stop. It's actually my third or fourth favorite uh, convenience store. Hey, Trevor. Um, I don't, uh, I'm 7-Eleven guy all the way. You can shoot vlogs in 4K too. Actually, you can shoot vlogs in 5K by you with the GoPro 9. You do need Wi-Fi uh, or data. I use my cell phone data because I got a shitload of data, right? So. Um, but you connect it via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, whatever, um, so on and so forth. I got to learn all the apps and stuff, but, uh, I can't wait to use it. I really can't. And I'm looking to get the mod part for it too, so I can hook up, uh, a light to it and another microphone, uh, things like that. So, you know, for the future, um, of live streaming i want to be uh live streaming in the best possible way and uh i put the notif i put the the link gretchen in the line group yeah and no more gimbal i was actually thinking of getting a gimbal for the gopro 9 but uh i guess with the built-in stabilization or whatever the hyper smooth or whatever they call it um you really don't need to carry a gimbal to be, you know, that smooth. And you know, like if there's a bit of shaking and things like that, kind of like what I'm trying to do now, 
it kind of adds to the ambiance of the live stream so oh, okay see it says okay this is actually a great cheap grocery store um, they are in Tokyo and Saitama areas and I swear to God these are way better you can get like a full well I'm not gonna say a big pizza they sell these great amazing tasting pizzas for five bucks uh, the vegetables the fruits everything is at least 20% uh, cheaper that's kind of weird where's the rest of the grocery store is it just this little place right here usually it's a huge grocery store unless it's in the basement I don't know yeah it's in the basement oh that's really weird I think it goes down to the basement so oh how is everybody doing hey Edward M how are you I need to stop for a sec I'm old but we are and and I'm thank God Leone's not here I know she, if she watches the replay she'll be like mm. but today ladies and gentlemen I had to stop off because listen listen I had to get a beer Ah, that boy Kevin perfect timing because again it's the Captain Crow beer love it have to get the crow beer for you guys call everybody call <laughs> cheers everybody it's a hot day for for October 2nd the weather is freaking amazing people Oh, I'm a Guinness guy. Damn, poor you. <laughs> um, having a glass of chilled rosé wine. Awesome. It was screaming hot. Hey, Janet, Janet, son, how are you? Um, yeah, I wouldn't want to be in California. I hear you guys got really hot weather still. Um, I am now happy with Tokyo weather. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't really like. You know weather summertime here and um, it just gets way too hot so can somebody message Merry Christmas and tell her to get her ass over here even though it is her brother's birthday I'm doing this for her and she's not here I'm so offended I'm gonna give her shit <laughs> I can only have the one beer today the rest has to be coffee or water I do have my physio uh, later on so is it humid too, Drew? No, it's not humid at all. I'm actually, I'm very comfortable. I really am. Um, by here, do you mean Japan? Yes. Hey, Luis, if you join the emoji club, then you can have uh, the crow emoji. Just saying. Or, or what was the name he used earlier? Something about a lot of diarrhea is what it turned out to be. Hmm. And I guess anybody that understood Spanish, like Mindy's mom, was laughing their ass off about it. And I never knew it was Luis until he said, yeah, I live in San Diego with my wife, B." And I was like, you rap bastard. <laughs> something Teng Churro or something like that, right? Well, let her be. She owes us absolutely not. What are you talking about, A1? Uh, is the beer very bitter? No, it's a pale ale. Um... It's got a little bit of tartness or bitterness to it, but uh, nothing I can't handle, so. Ah. And I'm sitting in the shade too, so. All right, I'm gonna pack up my garbage here. And uh, let's uh, go check out this open air Edo Museum. Oh, that's what it was. Sorry. So it looks like it's a good 15, 20 minute walk again, as usual. But once we get there, I think you guys will be very happy to uh, check this place out. If you don't know what this place is, it's uh, basically um, a lot of uh, buildings that have been brought here or reconstructed here uh, due to earthquakes, fires, um, and disasters that have happened in Japan. 
wait till you see this place. It is truly awesome. Um, it's an open air area, a bunch of buildings. We can walk inside the buildings. <coughs> and it just basically shows you the Edo period. Kind of like when we were in Kawagoi. We saw that kind of style of thing. So watch it on your big screen greener. My Samsung pumps up the green. I think I drank that beer too fast. Whew. But as I turn the camera around here, like it's a nice little walk, you know? It's uh, <coughs> quite peaceful. There's uh, a park over there. So it's, uh, it's not like you're, you know, we're in the Tokyo uh, prefecture, but we're not in the Tokyo 23 wards basically, right? So. That's what's pretty awesome about this. All right, I think we're coming up to the park here, up to the lights. No, it's not a garden. If you hang on for 10 more minutes, uh, A1, you will see exactly what we're doing. So I believe when I get to this light, I'm not sure the entrance, but I believe it's just to the left. At least I hope it is. You know me, I get lost. And all the buses here, by the way, are run by Keio, because we are in uh, Western Tokyo area. I really hate these Hustler cars. Who wants an orange car? Now that car I like, that's pretty cool. See how beautiful Tokyo can be? Oh, you're leaving already, Luis? Jeez. So you get up here, you can start seeing all kinds of different things in the park area. I believe I gotta cross here and then go up in behind these houses here. Hey, G6, Honda. Honda! It was a Honda. So this is the one of the main streets. And yes, we got to walk up this way here. Told you I'd yell out Honda if I saw one. Okay, mask down. So yeah, you, as soon as you uh, get past... Uh, up to the uh, T section, you just got to walk up here. The park is straight ahead. And it is a big park. I haven't been here for. Oh shit, there's a crow. A crow right on top of that pole up there. Hello, Mr. Crow. I drank your beer. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Yeah, do you see him? Do you see him? He's right there. He's eyeing me out of his side eye. Ha! Oh, I'm not scared of crows. <laughs> okay, let's just stay away. And, oh shit, I gotta go in here underneath him. Ah! Uh, okay. He flew away. He was scared of me. So yeah, we're into the park now. Uh, looks like obviously this is a parking lot. Looks like you got some kids playing basketball. <clears throat> and I got to try and remember exactly where I am. But I, I believe we got to head out into the middle of the uh, park area, which I don't know how to get to. So uh, no idea what he's doing. Sorry, I can't see the comments. So this it reminds me of some places in Hall. That's where I'm from. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So I'm kind of hoping I can go this way over here. Because I believe I have to get into the middle 
area because this doesn't look familiar to me. So let's uh, keep walking and find out where we're going here. But yeah, it's nice to see, uh, you know, parks in Tokyo, people out enjoying playing basketball, not on their cell phones, on their PCs. You know, all these kids are actually out playing. I like that. I, I always think, you know, kids should be outside playing. Kind of like what we did back in the 70s, you know? That's a nice little uh, rest area. Okay, I'm going to go down this way. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I believe I am. I believe I am. But knowing me, I'm probably going the wrong way. Or is it the other way? I don't know. This doesn't look right. No, it doesn't look right. Maybe it's the other way. Maybe this is the back end of the park. Because I remember coming down this way. Well, I'm going to go up this way, see if it's this way. Or is it over on that side? This park is very big actually, people. So it is. it can be confusing. I think I'm on the wrong side. If I can only find a map. <laughs> exactly, Relic. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm in the wrong spot. <clears throat> it's probably why there was a parking lot over there for the cars. So, cause I don't see anything here. So, okay, let's go back the other way. Take a chance. Only on the Totally Drew Network will you get somebody that knows where they're going and still get lost. Oh, crazy ass person that I am. Of course. Oh yeah, I'm in the wrong spot. I just saw a map in Japanese. Duh. Oh, who is that? Is that Irvin? Oh, hi. Oh, thank you, Irvin. Find the smoking section. Yeah, exactly. Uh, did uh, John finish his live stream already? Thanks for coming over. I was watching John's live stream a little bit before I started. <clears throat> okay. This freaking, oh, duh. I think it's right behind the, this fence area here. You're busy watching baseball? Oh, I was watching uh, the Thursday night football before I came out. That's why I'm kind of uh, streaming late because I wanted to watch the first three quarters. Dodgers are winning. Um, I don't follow baseball, but is this like the, the uh, NCLS or is this the World Series? What's going on with the baseball? What's going on with hockey? I do not know any of these things. <clears throat> Once football season starts, I am pretty much done. Oh my God, I'm so lost, people. Oh. <laughs> of course. Okay, now this looks like it should be inside here, but I don't know. Go Steelers! Absolutely, baby. Oh, they got a bit of a controversy happening this week, so. Okay, I'm really seriously losing it, people. I have no idea. I gotta find a map because I know I'm in the right park. This park is just so big. So I'm at the end of the park, so I think it's back that way again. God damn. Holy Christ, where, where'd all these kids come from? Breathe, bud, breathe. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, you know what? I was going the right way. Oh my God. Like, are you freaking kidding me? I'm so sorry to waste 30 minutes of your time here. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of annoyed with myself. Hold on one sec. I, I just gotta do this. Hold on. Be going the right way the first time. Ay, yeah, yeah. I, I just I when I saw the that side street area, I thought, oh my god, I've I've gone the wrong way. But hang with me tight guys for five or ten minutes. I am walking as fast as I can with a broken knee and uh yeah, you, you lost me because I shut it off and then I checked the map. Um, 
I'm at the wrong edge of the park. This park is huge. Uh, it's called Kogene Park, if you Google it. Um, I was at the easternmost tip right now of the park. And when I got over into that area, I was just like, oh, okay, I'm going the wrong way. Now I found a sign. Edo Tokyo Open Air Architectural Museum. That way. See? Sign right there. Why I didn't see it earlier, I have no freaking idea. We will get there. Um, you do have to pay an admission to this uh, place. I think it's like 300 yen. Um, so it's not that bad. And you are allowed cameras. Um, I think there's certain places you can't film or take pictures, but for the most part, uh, the last time I was here, um, I could do you know video and things like that. So it was pretty good. Are, are you somebody? Thank you for being here. <clears throat> oh. I guess I shouldn't have a beer before I start these live streams, eh? <laughs> okay, at least we made it to the park. So at least you know how to get here. Well, to the park. Once you get to the park, don't listen to Drew anymore because he doesn't know freaking anything. See, this is what I saw. And I thought, ooh, interesting. But now I see a bit of a break down there. <laughs> so I'm just going to go straight down here. I was going that way earlier. <clears throat> but I'm just going to go straight here because I know that there's a complete entrance to this place. So I just went down the wrong entrance. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. Get it? Oh, that's really weird. An electric tower right in the middle of the trees. Kind of interesting. <clears throat> All right. Not this place. A lot of open field. It truly is a, it truly is a nice park. Once you get into the uh, area that I want to show you. Oh. Probably lose a couple kilograms, thank God. Hello, Tori. How are you? Thank you for being here. Oh, did you really, Gretchen? Damn, I think I need those. That Canadian has the 99.99 plan. Exactly. <laughs> a lot of open area. Watch this. Oh, I can smell something burning. Sorry, I'm pointing camera this way so I don't get uh, the kids that just passed me on camera. <clears throat> this park is huge. That's what she said. I know I gotta head up into this area somewhere, sometime. I'm just scared. I'm gonna lose it, but I'm gonna go. I'm, that's it, I'm, I'm going. I'm going in. We gotta find this place, people. Maybe I'm just not deep enough. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Or some road. A oh, guy over there playing guitar. It's kind of weird. Park your bike under all those trees and just play your guitar. It's kind of peaceful. I guess. Okay. What a chore just to get here. My goodness. Thank you all for being here. I truly appreciate it. Uh, just so you know, we're at 30 likes uh, out of 60 people. So that's pretty cool. Uh, please smash that like button. As soon as, we, as soon as we find the museum, smash that like button. Then I know I'm successful. No, wait till I find the museum. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like you got a little, uh, little cafe place over there. Oh, it's a dog run here. Oh, huh. they actually have a dog run here, people, which is good. 
Okay, now I really have no freaking idea where I am. I'm thinking, is it over here? I'm so confused. I don't see anything saying open air Edo Museum, but I'm gonna go around this way. Oh, that's a big dog run. Not, whoa! Did you guys see that bee go in front of the camera? Holy Christ. Sure is a workout trying to get to this place. Your Yogi Park has it sectioned off into different size dogs. This is just one size only, it looks like. Nice little gift shop, snack shop, ice cream, different things like that. Huh. Okay, maybe I'm going the right way. I see a map right there. Oh, somebody's playing a flute, no beer. I'll probably have beer, there's beer everywhere in Japan. Hey Nosh, what size dog are you? <laughs> Can you hear that? He's all the way. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's somewhere right in here playing the flute. Okay, I guess I didn't go back far enough because here's the map. I think the dark green area is the open air Edo Museum. So I was like, I was going down into this area here, trying to go up in here, but I wanted to go up into, oh, they got a bird sanctuary. Uh, no, thank you. Open air Edo Museum is right here. But where am I? Oh my God, I am just right here. So I gotta go all the way over here. But this is how confusing this park is. I got so many fields, Ikoi Field, Kodomo Field, the Bird Sanctuary, not open to the public. Ha! So it looks like I'm here and I gotta follow somehow over that way. So, you know what? Don't listen to me um, in trying to get here. <laughs> I should just start this stream over and uh, from the actual open air Edo Museum. You think that's a good idea? Would you all come back if I start again? Or should I just keep going? As if Drew follows the rules. Hey Nosh, you've seen my cup, right? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I start again? Because this uh, stream is just 45 minutes of just walking. Keep going. Keep going. It's fun. No, we are amused. Yeah. I'm not amused, Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe I got lost in a freaking park. In a freaking park. How is your pain level? Ah, it's okay. Hey, Panda Moon, how are you? Uh, honestly, my leg is killing me, to be honest. I, I, I can't lie. Um, but I'm going to keep doing it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, look at this, that's cool. Ah! Oh, you got bees everywhere. <laughs> I'm talking bees like this freaking big. That is cool, whatever that is. Huh. Oh, I hate bees. Oh, it's a quiet park too. They're basically murder hornets, yeah. Kind of scary. People are walking their puppies, so that's nice. Okay, am I going the wrong way now? I don't know where I am. I will find this place. Oh, I got a bunch of kids skateboarding around here. Was well, never a skateboarder really. 
All right. It's getting hot. Look at that, that's cool. It's a clock, it's a sundial. It's telling me that it's five after two. <laughs> Okay, I wonder if these are the fields. Or maybe those are the fields over there. I don't know. I really don't know, people. Oh, there's a challenge right there. Not sure what the hell you do, but... Looks like some sort of kid's park or something. Oh, Christ almighty. This place is so far. Exactly by you. I never played hockey sack. Who's the said hi, Drew? Bobby. Hello, Bobby. How are you, Bobby? Okay. Oh, that's a pretty cool climbing area. You got a slide at the end. You start over here and you climb all kinds of stuff. That looks pretty cool for kids, man. That's all right. Damn. Hope you're doing well. I, I hope you're doing well too, sir. Or not sure if you're a guy or a girl, but I uh, hope you're doing well, Bobby. You have a bunch of buildings here I do not know about. I'm just looking for this freaking museum. The last time I came here, I came a different way, so it was a lot easier. So obviously I just learned a lesson not to come the way I came, because, <laughs> yeah, I got lost. I would get that zip line and it would sag too. <laughs> I think I would be the same way. <laughs> Damn, those are big ass garbage bins. He's confused. Which one do I put it in? Put it in the green one. No idea. Food and beverage, food, beverages, snacks, alcohol. Awesome. They got food. Looks like they got curry rice, tonkatsu, <coughs> things like that. So that's awesome. So everybody's out here on a Friday afternoon enjoying their... Uh, Afternoon with friends, family, and Drew's lost. That's all. <clears throat> get some food. You always want me to get food, Fang. Oh. Pizza? <laughs> I think I'm going the right way, people. Wow, these, these fields on the map look small, but they're huge here. I'm crossing like uh, one of the fields over here. And then there's another open field on the, on the other side of these washrooms here. And I think the museum's on the other side of that. I thought the museum was in the, in the, uh, in the middle. Drink water, Drew, height. Okay, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. Uh, so I was over here, so that's where I told you guys to walk into and got lost going back and forth here. And actually, we gotta go all the way over here. So it's on the west side of the park. I was actually looking for this area here, which I thought was one of the streets I was walking up. And that is straight down there. So now I know where I am. Okay, do I really though? Are you guys okay? Is there something going on with the video? Somebody said they got a blank screen. Everybody okay? Video looks good, okay. Just refresh please, set your cog, change your cog to uh, 720 instead of auto. Don't know what they're doing. Hmm. I think that's what I need to do. He's taking pictures. 
Nice big open field. This guy's flying a kite right over here. That's pretty cool. Open Air Edo Museum is right behind these trees. Let's play with them. They're not playing, Fang. <laughs> They're doing something that is very evil. It's called exercise. When was the last time you guys flew a kite? Last time I flew a kite, I was probably 10 years old. And this kite is like way up there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Right up in there. Honestly, when I was a kid, I used to fly a kite. And the challenge was to get that kite up and going. But after that, it was kind of freaking boring for me. So I gave up flying kites. Did you ever fly kites when you were young people? Wow, this park is freaking huge, people. Fly a kite, when's the last time I left the house? Wow. I'm sure, Nosh, you could figure out somehow to fly a mini kite in your workshop room. I, I just know it. Knowing you, you would figure it out. Have this little fan going with this little string and a little kite. I know. You would do it. I know you would. <coughs> oh, my goodness. It is a good walk when you're lost. That's for damn sure. Did you ever build your own kite? No, never. And just I just bought them. Well, actually, my dad bought them. And, like, literally, I seriously didn't fly kites uh, until after maybe, say, 10 or 11 years old, I gave up on it. Just couldn't be bothered. I see the open-air museum, people. I finally see it. So you're going to see the outside part of it when I turn the camera around. And you're going to be like, wow. And this is the west area of the museum. But... Amazing. We're going to actually go inside here and check it out. Um, but here, let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what we're going to be looking at here once we get inside. If you can see those buildings, <coughs> that yellow uh, train, tram car, whatever you want to call it, that's all inside. Don't forget, all these buildings have been reconstructed or uh, disassembled from whatever area they're from and uh, brought here to create this museum which is totally amazing can I tell you oh look at the big koi wow and turtles not the most beautiful looking uh, pond area or whatever but Got to see turtles, man. You don't get to see turtles much. What wreckage? Are you talking, Sandra? Are you talking uh, about the 100 shots of coffee again? Oh God, please no. This is inside. Like, too bad we can just jump across, right? <laughs> get in for free. Yeah, like I do that. But that is inside, and we're going to be walking around there in about half an hour from now. Everybody's got their cameras going on. Truly an amazing area. And this is what I wasted 45 minutes trying to get to. But we got here. I really uh, didn't think it would take that long to get here, but it did. So again, just like that uh, Taiwanese temple I went to, a lot further than uh, what the map seems. But I never give up, I always walk. I guess I could have taken public transportation. <laughs> Sorry, a bug landed on top of me. Look inside there. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. Okay, tour's done. Let's go home, bye. <laughs> that is amazing. It landed on my sleeve, the bug crazy ass bug oh. okay I can see the Japanese flag oh, I love seeing that Japanese flag honor respect love it there is a guard this is kind of what I wanted to show you I wanted to come up from over here 
and then walk up this way because the front of the building is pretty awesome too. <coughs> but this is the uh, front entrance to the Edo Open Air Museum. We made it people, so thank you for sticking around. Truly appreciate it. We're up to 36 likes, we found it. Can we get to 50 now? Look at this. That's pretty freaking awesome. Now I just hope that I can get in. <sighs> I'm pretending I'm not filming. It's okay? Oh. Hi, hi. Sanji Roku Ten Nana. Ego. You cannot get inside all of the buildings because of the coronavirus. Yeah, of course. I understand. You want to buy a ticket? Yeah, yeah. Here. Thank you. Hi. 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 Okay, we're in. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it was actually 400 yen to uh, get in. You had to take your temperature. Um, you had to do this, do that. But, uh, okay, we are in. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, truly appreciate it. Um, so we are gonna go check. She said that some of the places are closed due to coronavirus, but we will go through what we can. I hope you enjoy. Uh, this truly is an amazing um, thing going on here. As I walk out here, this is basically what we're doing. We are in the now, people. So as we come back out into this back area here, smoking area back there and washrooms, of course, that is the outside area. So the first thing, oh, look at this. Look at the cannon. I don't know why, but that reminds me of back home, Stony Creek, Ontario. Um, and they all have signs in English and Japanese. So you can see here, it says, you know, from September 9th, 19, 1871, a blank shot was fired at noon from the cannon in the former main building of the Imperial Palace. Yada, 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 yada. So this is a cannon actually from the Imperial Palace back in 1871. Now, of course, there's so much history here I'm gonna to have to read a lot of these plaques. So now this, this has gotta definitely be worth 50 likes. We only got 41. So please smash that like button if you can. There is a map here showing you all the kinds of different places, buildings. Now this is architectural museum. So you got uh, different farmhouses of the Oshino family, uh, different you know farmhouses of all these different families and stuff. And I'll just kind of zoom in here. And this is what we're going to be looking at. So is it worth 400 yen? Absolutely. It really is. Because we're just going to go right to the end. And uh, I'll show you everything. We will go in what we can go in. And uh, we'll pass by what we can't. This looks like an old cento or something. No food or drink is allowed in the building. So let's go inside. 
Uh, can't really uh, go inside because it says uh, to prevent infection. So there are going to be a lot of buildings that you can't go in. <laughs> I've been here before, so I know I can film. Just they don't want you pointing at people and things like that. Same rules. I'm actually going to be making a video on uh, filming in Japan because I just, I just don't get it. And I know uh, a few other vloggers, I won't say their names, but uh, you know, they've walked into 7-Elevens and things like that. And they've always questioned like, why the hell can't you film? I understand, I do, I get it, I do get it. But at the same time, I guess it's, uh, it's just something that happens. Anyways, uh, check out these houses here. Love, the, love these roofs. That's pretty awesome. <coughs> this is the farmhouse of the Tsunashima family. You gotta keep a two meter distance. Check this out. That's pretty cool, eh? You can see the rest of the farmhouse over there. They even have like space underneath. This would be, I guess, your fire and cooking areas. Hey, Mohammed. Pretty awesome, eh? I got another house over here. Another guy video doing a YouTube video over there, looks like. Look how amazing these how these are. Like, isn't that amazing? Come on, people. You've got to like it. Well, you don't have to, but I think it's awesome myself. Got all kinds of different things going on. I just, this roof is just amazing. I really don't know Mindy's mom. Um, this one here, this farmhouse, from the Yoshina family. It was built in the, it just says in the late Edo period. It was originally located in Mitaka city, which is uh, this area anyways. But look at how amaz amazing this is guys. The old tatami, you got three rooms, one, two, three here kitchen area these are don't forget these are farmhouses so cooking area again over there another cooking area looks like they got uh, some sort of you know a fire area did they Are we back? Are we back, people? Okay, we're back. Please tell everybody to refresh. Yeah, I guess we're going to hit spots where uh, it's going to black out, I guess. Sorry about that. Look at these. These are amazing. 
Now look at how thick these roofs are. I thought they were quite thin, but that's at least, what, 45 inches thick? But just to see, could you imagine living in these houses, you know, a hundred years ago? Or That's crazy ass, man. No internet. <laughs> Again, this is the uh, Hachioji Guards house. Uh, it was, again, it says it was built in the late uh, Edo period. Truly amazing. These houses are amazing. Wait till we get over into the other houses that are more 60s and 70s, like this one here. I don't know if we can go inside this one or not. It looks like it's being renovated. Or maybe we can. Entrance for the House of George Delande. So this here, you can see, is the House de whatever. It was built around 1910. It's a Western-style home that was originally in Shinjuku area. So you guys can pause and read later on. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. And you can pause to get the history on this, but let's go check it out. <coughs> Maybe it's closed. Maybe it's open. I'm gonna be quiet when I'm walking through here, guys, okay? Please don't take off your shoes. I swear to God, they got signal blockers or something. <laughs> This kind of sucks. I went back in. It's actually, it's okay because it's a restaurant inside. But it uh, seems like they got like signal blockers, if that's even a thing. That's really weird. Can you please let everybody know to refresh again, please? Sorry about that. This is Tokiwadi Fudo Photo Studio. I think this bus looks really wild over there. <laughs> this one here is close for renovations. But once we get over to the other west side, there's more buildings to look at. These are the ones that you can go inside, but it seems like every time I go inside one, the, uh, hey, Anil, the, um, the signal cuts out for whatever reason. So this is the house of uh, Kunio Makekawa. Not sure. Uh, looks like just a, looks actually looks like a house from Hawaii. Okay, we're gonna try and go inside. If I cut out again, well, I'll run back out. <sighs> it's closed. Do not, you know, different areas. So not much to see there. That kind of sucks. <laughs> and then around here, well, you can see kind of inside. It looks like everything is closed. Yeah, we're just looking around the outside, basically, of houses. So that kind of sucks. But trying to look inside uh, some of these rooms, you know, can be kind of interesting, I guess. Because, like, look how nice it looks inside here. This is built in, like, what, 1910? I think they said. I'll go back and take a look again. It looks a lot more modern than 1910. It's got to be uh, 40s at least. Looks like a craftsman style home. Yeah, no, they don't have any information, so 
All right, we'll head out into the uh, the other side here where there's more, um, you know, things to look at, like the architecture of the actual buildings themselves. Again, we were just trying to look at these buildings here. Now we're going to come all out into this area here, which should be a lot uh, nicer. <coughs> I love this uh, shrine area here. See, I, I honestly, I don't know what a craftsman style home is, Mindy's mom, but... I'm gonna research it. Look how beautiful that looks. I'm just gonna walk by, of course. It does look really nice. Uh, this here is the uh, Jisho In Mausoleum Otamaya. It was built in 1652. Uh, it is from uh, Ichigaya. So this is all Tokyo area. It's part of the Tokugawa. Um, Imitsu, the third shogun of the Edo shogunate. So again, you can see pause later on from Shinjuku. <clears throat> Is Merry Christmas here? No, still nothing. Look how amazing these buildings look. I'm not going to go in every building. Um, just due to the fact that I don't want to lose reception. Um, hi, Mishy. I'll give Merry Christmas shit because she's the one that wanted me to come here. <laughs> amazing. And then, you know, on the back here, it's just all open land. Just, it just amazes me. Again, this is closed off inside here. But just to look inside is pretty cool. Do not enter every not enter to prevent infection. Just saying in Japanese, uh, social distance for two meters. The more exciting part is down this way anyways, in my opinion. I like the farmhouses and then this area down in here. Um, I think this is one of the buildings I actually like too, I'm not sure. I think last time I actually went inside here. <laughs> but it's down there right down there is the really awesome area but here hopefully we can get in this part and show you this here as uh what i'm going to be walking into now is the tea arbor the tea arbor kaisuian and again it was uh built in the taisho period and this was uh from nishi nishi ogita suganami ward area and it's pretty cool that they have like, you know, kind of the whole layout of the place they have in uh, Japanese and uh, English. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta watch your head. Look at this. You're not gonna see much here. But, you know, what you will see is just little tatami rooms like this. Yeah, I know you could walk over into this back area before, or maybe I just came in the wrong way. But check out the little garden area. How beautiful is this, eh? After a while, kind of gets the same, which is okay. Yeah, there is a nice building to the right. Um, I kind of want to go check it out. But I think I'll check it out on the way back. Because I want to get, uh, make sure I, you guys uh, see the other part. I got a, a main gate over there. This is the cool area, people. 
Now they do have another uh, kind of style home over here, um, which I'm going to bypass. Oh, Sunset Cycling here. Now this here is the area when we first walked in, I showed you the train and all that uh, over here. So this is the open area. God, that person is still picking weeds too. I love how uh, they take care of everything in Japan. All right, so this is the uh, kind of area that I really think is so cool. I'm gonna go to the vending machine and get a drink. I do need uh, something to drink here. Hopefully they got something for a buck or a buck 10. I hate using 200 yen and getting all the change. Oh, I can finally take my mask off and uh, ledge, found a ledge. Oh. We got water. Cheers, everybody. So cold. That's so cold. I'm gonna put it in my uh, backpack in a minute here. So, so far this is the open air Edo Museum. Uh, sorry that some, you know, some of the things are closed, but uh, it is, I think, worth the 400 yen to come out and um, and uh, visit. Totally, Muhammad, what do that? <laughs> Um, I would say though, go to Masashi Kogane. It's a lot easier to find than Higashi Kogane. But uh, yeah, here, let me. Uh, Got to wear a mask at all times throughout here. So even if you are social distancing, they do have rules. I like this uh, train, the tram, whatever you want to call it. Oh, we can go sit down for a minute. Oh, no, we can't. Damn! It says do not enter. Look how cool that looks, though, eh? That's pretty old school, man. I know some parts of the country, they have trains like this running still. Where they... Look at the fans. That's how they used to cool things down. Having these fans instead of air con. And then here's the street that I uh, really get excited about. Uh, I'm pretty sure, look at this lady, she's drawing this place. <coughs> Some of these places might be closed, I don't know. But let's go check out this place here first. I'm gonna put my, uh... so this here, the information on this building here, this is uh, Maruni Shoten, a kitchenware store. Uh, it is from the early Showa period. which looks pretty cool. It says, please do not touch, but look at this. Look at this, people. Uh, if you guys are talking politics in the chat, I'd like the moderators to delete it, please. I can't see the chat, so when somebody says, keep politics out, uh, thank you for that. You guys should know better whoever's doing it. Look at this, old pots. These are actually scrubbers, baskets up there. You got brooms. This is truly awesome. Look at the, look at the thing of pots there from big all the way up to small. Love these blue ones. This is dope. 
And then even though we can't enter inside, they do have, you know, a back room area. Pretty cool. Coming onto the side here. This building is actually a lot bigger than what it seems because even though we can't enter inside here, they do have all these back areas in here like that. Not sure what this all here means, but uh, it's, it's pretty cool, eh? Love these old signs, look at that. That's amazing. There's no souvenirs that I know of, but uh, there could be Feng at the front entrance. So once we uh, finish this vlog up at the front entrance in a bit, I'll uh, see. I'm just gonna zig, cross over, cross over. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna go to the next store here. This is a flower shop here, but look at the outside of these buildings. Those are pretty awesome. This here is a stationary store. Wow. Check this out. Look at this. Could you imagine this? That is dope. Okay, if you haven't hit the like button, hit the like button for this. These are reconstructed stores or original stores, Fang. Wow, that is amazing. Look at the old abacus. Even paper originally Oh, those are notebooks still in the original wrappers. Those are probably good years and years and years old. That is amazing, guys. Truly amazing. <coughs> Can I go in the flower store here for a second? Okay, just a flower store. Nothing much. <coughs> It looks like this here is an actual business that is open. Uh, just a resting area. Okay, interesting. That's the store I want to take you guys to in a minute. I can't see the chat, so sorry about that. So, okay, this here, um, the Mantoku Inn. So this is an actual inn. Can I, oh, check this out. You do have an upstairs, I guess, where the rooms are. <laughs> is that like the front desk? Look at the old safe. Look at this. amazing have your tea time I, I would imagine that the rooms are like up there where you would stay or something maybe but this is crazy ass man goes all the way back here so these are like tea rooms or something I think that would probably be an outhouse area, the well for water probably. Not sure what this would be here. Pretty cool. 
pool. Well, that's where they get the water, put the water in. Is the J vlog here? How are you? <clears throat> so far, what, do you, what would you guys give this uh, out of a 10? What would you give it? <laughs> this is a tailor's workshop. Of course we can't enter, but you can see all the fabric and stuff. A seven out of 10? <laughs> Only Fang says seven out of 10. Hmm. Cause that doesn't have maccas. I'm doing my best here, Fang. Look at that, that's pretty cool, eh? No karaoke, bite me, Fang. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. <coughs> they have a, um, an onsen, but I think I gotta take my shoes off, so I'm not going inside, which is right here. You gotta take your shoes off when you go inside, but basically shows like an onsen, which you can kind of see inside anyways. So, it's just uh, an onsen. You want me to go inside? Let me know. Means I have to take my shoes off. Suck it. And this here is an alcohol store. I gotta be careful of my knee. Look at the old Kieran bottles. Oh my God. Look at this. What does that say? I have no idea what rings you're talking about. Probably not, but this is pretty cool. Suntory whiskey and sake. Now look up there, isn't that awesome? Hi, Alan girl. M2, how are you? Oh, I do, I, I believe that. Look at these old cans. Arc shell, cuttlefish, ligaments, <laughs> seasoned ligaments, octopus in a can. Ew. Old pineapple. Isn't that crazy? Fruits, figs, cherries, baked apples. Man, oh man, that looks so crazy ass, man. Look at these old scales. Oh, sorry, that, that was bulldog. Wow. Look at all these. Oh my God, this is awesome. If I could just, if you guys could just uh, experience it here with me. This reminds me of a soy sauce uh, um, vat, which is pretty cool. It's not soy sauce, but. Wow, that is pretty awesome, I gotta say. 
not sure what building this is, but uh, it's, they got some sort of display here. A vat of sake. Well, probably. It was alcohol. I'm just saying it reminded me of that soy sauce place in uh, uh, Coeto. Hi, Island Girl, by the way. I would want to, I do want to touch everything. These are not toys, Feng. <laughs> I'll tell you what uh, room this is in a minute. Look at these amazing Japanese umbrellas. Oh, how awesome is that? Now this house, here's where it originally was in Tokyo or wherever. That's the original house in the Tokyo area and they've actually brought it here. When it was being built. And uh, yeah, here is the information here. This is the Kuwano Shoten, the oil paper umbrella wholesale store. It was built in 1926 in Edogawa Ward of Tokyo. Now you do have QR codes that you can check out uh, the Japanese and the English information, which is still pretty cool. I'm pretty sure they're not haunted, Minty's mom. <laughs> well, you know, that's a good, could be a good question though. But just the architecture of these houses are amazing. You know, honestly, I would actually love to have one of these houses. You know, the outside of my house looking like this, but of course, the inside looking all 2020. See how, like, there's so much room back here. This is what just drives me nuts about these houses. <coughs> Every room is connected by, and these are called uh, sho, shoji, jo, shoji. Are we back? Hopefully. Now this is my kind of store, cigarette store. Or this is basically uh, a grocery store from 1928. See some of the old tobacco. And then you can see like dried uh, octopus or eggs or uh, squid. Wakame, little fishies, all this kind of uh, kind of stuff they would sell, and then all your tin goods and things like that. A knife over there. And I guess you could go down the side. And of course, this one here, House of Uemura, 1927. Just a house. Pretty small. And that there, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much the whole Edo area. Um, so of course, you know, like some places you can't go in. Uh, I wanted to go to the end onsen there, but I got shoes tied up at my knee. You had to take your shoes off, put them into a bag, wear the slippers, go inside, blah, 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 blah. It was a little bit difficult, so sorry I didn't go inside there. Oh, look at this. Love it. Wow. There's so much history here. Shop or something. Look at inside. I'll go around the front part over there. And I'll show you guys uh, inside this other house that I said I would show you at for, for a minute. Oh, so this here is a cosmetic manufacturer. A cosmetic manufacturer. Interesting. 
and then we're going to go inside this one here now. Hopefully I don't uh, lose you guys. This is the farmhouse of the Temyo family. Hey, we need one more like for 50. Come on, people. Working my ass off here. <laughs> <coughs> Look at this. Now this is somewhere I would love to live. Oh my god, it even smells like manure. No. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Guess what next month's postcard is gonna be? Right here. Right there. Okay. Look at all the uh this was all the land. So this uh, was built in the late uh, 18th century. It was in the, um, it was in Ichome Unoki Ota Ward. You can see here. And uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Looks like you can walk through this one a little bit. I wonder if this is, you know, really about furniture though. I guess like, you know, did they have actual dirt floors and then you had to go up onto the tatami because, you know, these are dirt and it's supposed to represent exactly how it was. So I'm just wondering, right? The cooking area. Or the... This is huge. Look how many rooms are all back in there. Nice little uh, fire pit area here. Amazing. I think you can just go on the outside and check out every uh, room here. Like that. That's pretty cool. That is awesome, people. All right, we made it to 50 likes. Thank you so much. Walking around the back here to see... Just to show you how big this house is, this is one house. All this is one freaking house. And nowadays that's like, Christ, you could fit probably six Japanese apartments inside. Got a little Tori here, a little garden area. Amazing. This is the other side. <clears throat> Look at that. All these different rooms. That is dope. That's where we walked in is from there. I'm just gonna see where this leads to. Leads over to the entrance to where we actually walked in. And I'm just gonna go out the back way here. My knee is getting so sore. Thank God I got physio later. Yeah, check it out. That's the whole area. This is definitely worth uh, visiting. Hey NFL boy, how are you? Looks like you have like a little walkway kind of garden area back in there. Now I'm going to head back out uh, towards the entrance again. I wanted to see if there are souvenirs. If Fang is still here. If I haven't said hi to you, I do apologize. It's just the, trying to look around and uh, see everything. The crow. Who the hell is the crow? Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know how those people got into the back there. 
because it's in the back of this house, but you can't go into the back. Or maybe we can go to that back this way. I'm not sure. <coughs> Gotta check it out back here. Oh, maybe you can enter. Oh, there you go. Just follow g -Sang. I think Black Tengu said uh, back here is pretty beautiful, so I wanted to save this for last. Everybody's changing their names, so I don't know who is who nowadays, especially when they call themselves the Crow, Tokyo Crow, freaking Churo, somebody rather. Oh, okay. This is, the, look at how beautiful, oh my God. This is beautiful. I can hear the little waterfall, the river, all the paths. Look at this. We are at feature film length, right? Look at this. Nice. I do, Mindy's mom. I don't trust the community lately with all the name changes. Or maybe it's just Luis R and LMA doing it to me and it makes me not trust everybody else's names now. <laughs> Isn't this heavenly? Look how beautiful that is. That's freaking amazing. I just love the architecture. A ledge. <laughs> oh, thanks, Crow. You knew me many, many months ago. I, I remember your name, of course. Thank you for the super chat, though. I truly appreciate that, too. Um, just lately, somebody's been calling themselves uh, Tokyo Crow and... Uh, Another community member keeps changing his name uh, to two or three different gummy bear and frickin' some other name and uh, drives me nuts. <laughs> Look at that. And that's where we were in the back of that uh, area and I wanted to see over here and that's where Black Tengu said, come on over. Now it looks like I can leave here, I think. Let me check it out. Maybe I don't have to go all the way to the front entrance. But Feng does want to know if there are. Okay, that still doesn't take us outside. So that looks like it's just a gate or something. So look how beautiful this is, eh, guys? All right, I'm going to head over to the, uh, the front as I walk through this beautiful uh, little area here. I'm down to 20% on my phone already, so <coughs> we will have to wrap it up in about 10 minutes. Oh, look at this. Look at the bricks. I see Shinagawa, KTR, whatever that is, KKK. Oh, okay, not KKK, that's no good. Can't sleep, came back. Well, Fang, we're gonna go check souvenirs for you first. I know this video is a exhausting for you and your knee is hurting you but I thoroughly am enjoying this video thank you Knight Riders gal uh, this is uh, me being me for the community just giving you trying to give you a good content <laughs> or interesting content or boring content or whatever but you know for those of you that have been here for an hour almost two hours thank you so much for being here I, uh, I really appreciate uh, the uh, support I really do Ouch. Okay, maybe I can go... Oh, no, it says exit this way. See, you can see me kind of uh, hobbling. I've been limping like crazy uh, throughout this whole video. But uh, suck it up, buttercup. That's what I always say. Well, that's what I tell Hiro me, then she gets pissed off at me. So, yeah, let's head towards uh, the exit in the front area. I'm going to go check out souvenirs. Ah, so hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, long video. I didn't expect it to be that long, actually. Um, but hey, I'm happy. Um, I'm hopefully you're happy that uh, you got to hang out. Watch me get lost for the first 45 minutes. And 
Oh, thank you, Fang. Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> you need to tape up your knee. Actually, okay, guys, guys, I'm so old. Yeah, I'm gonna show you my leg. I wear a knee brace. So I've had my knee in a brace this whole time and I'm still hurting. Uh. Okay, so the entrance is the exit. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, I don't even want to go for a cigarette. This is a map of the whole area again. So we basically kind of walked in here, walked all the way down through, up in here. That's that big ass house, and then came back. So it looks like everything is uh, good to go. We're just gonna head back out now. <coughs> Souvenirs look like they suck. So nothing much here, guys. Oh. <laughs> you speak good English. <laughs> A little bit. I've been here 15 years. Keep going in, so. <laughs> I got those enough. <coughs> okay guys so that was uh the open air edo museum merry christmas suggested this to come and uh she wasn't here hmm i am out um J vlog at the beginning i had a lady come up to me and tell me like you know don't point the camera at people and you know a lot of the yeah, that's how i've been here before so um you know just doing her job and stuff but when you come out of this place like seriously like look at this this is the open okay i'm gonna try and get a thumbnail better thumbnail here or maybe not i don't know um when you come out here though look how uh amazing that uh this park is, of course. As you come looking here though, this is basically the whole uh, front ass building. Oh, there's my thumb now. And then you have this whole amazing area. We do have a store down here, which I'm going to uh, walk down. And then look at this, look, just amazing guys, amazing. Ouch, I wish I could get a freaking taxi or something back to the station. <laughs> I'm seriously like dying here. So, um, but thank you for joining me, really. This, I know these videos get pretty long, but for a lot of you troopers that hang out for a couple hours watching and hanging out, thank you so much for the support. It really is freaking awesome. Scooters, yeah, I, I could use a scooter right about now. Um, I'm gonna go home, ice my knee, um, and then I'm gonna go to physio at 6.30 for uh, a 30 minute session. Um, but then we will be back on the horse again tomorrow, which will be pretty freaking awesome, I think. Um, I'm gonna try uh, and do a community uh, stream yards where I can invite all the community members. Uh, the public stream. We do it on our Patreon stream. Even Mindy's mom was on our stream once. Amazing. Um, uh, so maybe we'll try that for the morning coffee show tomorrow. Thank you, uh, Mission Creek. Um, and, uh, and of course, tomorrow night will be Patreon only videos, uh, so on and so forth. So I don't want to get lost. I really don't. I want to sit down on a bench, but I want to sit down and have a smoke and some water.
But uh, guys, thank you so much. Uh, I will uh, leave it at that. Uh, found a ledge, found a ledge, found a ledge. Um, so thank you everybody for the super chats. Thank you to the community. Thank you for the Emoji Club members. Thank you to the Patreon members. Um, thank you to the community completely, everybody. Thank you. Uh, we will see you again soon. Please check out uh, these two videos here and the Patreon link will be here. Until next time, keep it real, keep it raw, straight to yourself, because I always do. Thank you for your time. Bye, everybody.